Yes, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV and we are going sailing for the first time. We're going out on a Hobie 15, which is a very basic catamaran, very good for the beginner sailor. We've got the boat pulled onto the beach. Um, these beginner boats with the hard skeg hulls are very durable, so they're very good for just pulling onto the beach. We've got the jib and the mainsail and the first thing that we need to know before we go out sailing is where is the wind coming from? There's a few things that we can use to tell us this, like if we can see any flags, like we've got some up here, they'll be showing us where the wind is coming from. On our boat, we've also got some wind indicators. So they're showing us where the wind is coming from and also the way that the sails are just sitting in line with the boat, that tells us that the boat is pointing into the wind. So what we need to do when we're ready to go out is firstly, we're just gonna hook on the main sheet. Okay, so we're just gonna attach the main sheet on this boat, it's just with a hook to decide which way we're going to set off. At the moment, we can see the wind is slightly more coming from the right. So if it was onshore, straight, it would be like this, but right now it's coming from the right and that means it's gonna be easier for us to go out to the left. Okay, so before I put the boat in the water, I'm just gonna unlock the rudders from the up position and then holding the boat at the front, I'm just gonna slide her into the water. There we go. And I'm just gonna walk it out a little bit. So first thing, whenever we're holding the boat in the water, always holding it at the front. And I'm gonna walk out a fair distance from the beach if I can. And the beach here shelves quite steadily. So this is quite useful that I can get out. While we're walking it out, I'm just looking for any potential traffic that we may have or obstacles on the water. There are these boats with yellow sails coming in, so I'm just gonna be aware of those. Perhaps we'll wait for those to come in before we set off. Okay, and now that we're ready, I'm just gonna work my way back down the boat and then we're gonna jump on. Okay, and now we can pretty much just sit on the boat and it's gonna be quite stable, but I wanna get the rudders down pretty quickly. So I'll just do the first rudder, just taking the tiller arm, pushing it back, clip down. And now the second rudder, we're just gonna push down and clipping it down. And then we're gonna want the stick or the tiller extension on the side opposite where the sails are. All right, so we are off. So the wind is blowing from the right here. So our sail is over the left side of the boat, as we can see. And at the moment, we're just holding the stick in our backhand. And we're not really touching the sails just yet, but the boat is tickling along nicely. We are going and we're sailing at just over 45 degrees to the wind. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is we're gonna pull the jib in quite tight, and then we're just gonna watch the telltales on the jib, these pieces of wool on the jib. They're gonna tell us how close we can sail to the wind. So if we're watching the telltales, if the one on the outside isn't flying properly, that means we can sail more up towards the wind. And if the one on our side, so the one we can see more clearly, isn't flying correctly, that means we're too close to the wind. All right, so next, we're gonna pull the traveler in all the way to the middle, and then we can start to bring in the main sheet. Now, if you see the technique for bringing in the main sheet, I've got my arm over the stick 
So by pushing down, I can still steer and I'm just gonna use both hands to pull the main sheet in just until we feel the boat is going along nicely. Okay, so sailing along, this is very nice. We can now steer the boat normally. If we pull the stick towards us, the boat will turn in the opposite direction. So it's good to get used to this steering straight away. But right now we need to go for attack. So we're gonna pull the main sheet in a bit, sail up until the inside telltale on the jib just starts to lift. When it's there, we know we're as close as we can go. I'm now gonna push the stick away quite hard. Of course, having checked where we're going to turn to, and then I'll move across the boat. And then we can sit down on the other side. Do check out the video that I've done separately on tacking because we can go into a lot of detail about tacking, but we'll just keep it nice and easy for now. And then once we're sailing again, we can pull the jib across by flicking it down on this side and then pulling it in on the other side until it's tight. And then once again, we can steer the boat by watching the telltales on the jib. So we're just going along steering the boat. Now at the moment, the wind is quite light. It's actually perfect conditions for our first time out. It's probably about six or seven knots of wind, which is like a force one to two Beaufort. Uh, very nice, steady wind. There is some traffic about, but nothing too hectic. So when we're talking about tacking or going about, I'm just gonna let this other guy explain exactly what that means. When we're out sailing, we can't sail directly into the wind. So what we must do is sail at about 45 degrees to the wind. And then if we want to get to where the wind is coming from, which we'll call sailing upwind, we have to sail in this angle and then tack onto the other side and we do a series of zigzags upwind. So while we're sailing along, we want to be thinking ahead as we're going and we want to make sure that we're not leaving our tack until the last minute. So with loads of space, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the area that we're gonna turn into. We're then gonna sail up towards the wind a little bit more, just until the jib starts to either flap or those telltales on the inside start to flap around. We'll then pull the main sheet in pretty tight. And then that means we're ready so we can now push the stick away and hold it there watching the jib. When the wind comes in the other side of the jib, we're gonna release the main sheet completely and move across the boat. When we've got to the new side, we'll bring the stick around the back, holding it quite low down. That's the way to deal with this big stick. And then once we're going along on the new side, we want to look forwards as soon as we can. And we can then bring the jib across like we did before. So we have to flick it down. Quite tricky on this one, actually. And then we'll pull it in on the other side until it's tight. And then once we've done that, we can then start to bring the main sheet in again. All right, my traveller came uncleated there, so I just had to pop that back into the cleat. So what our objective is here is we're just going to sail backwards and forwards across the wind. That's what we're doing. This is the easiest way to sail the boat. So now we're going to do one more tack. So again, we're going to push the stick away, watching the jib, just until these inside telltales start to lift. We're going to check the area that we're going to turn into, that's all clear. And then when we're ready, we're just going to pull the main sheet in until it's tight. Push the stick away, watching the jib. When the wind comes in the other side of the jib, we're going to release the main sheet 
and move across the boat. Just walking across kind of on our knees to get across the boat. And then as soon as we can, looking forwards on the other side. And then once we're sailing along, just gonna pull the jib across. And this time, I'm not gonna pull it in quite so tight because we're gonna sail back in towards the beach. So when we're sailing more what we'd call downwind, again, let's just have this other guy explain what that means. The other main courses that we can sail on or points of sail, we've done upwind. Now sailing directly across the wind, we'd call reaching or half wind sailing. And then if we're sailing with the wind, the most that, that we ever go with the wind is what we call downwind. And that is what we're doing just now. So when we're downwind, we're gonna have the sails much looser. Now for the purpose of right now, we're just gonna keep the traveler in the middle on the main sail, but we're gonna have the main sail, the main sheet loose. So we're catching more wind. The jib is also loose. And again, we're looking out for traffic. There are a few other boats coming in here. And then what we're gonna do, when we get into water where it's shallow enough to grab hold of the boat, we're gonna turn up into the wind by pushing the stick away as much as we can. And that's gonna stop the boat. And then once the boat's stopped, we're gonna jump in and then quickly get to the front of the boat to hold the boat in the shallow water. All right, so we're coming in. We've got this other boat which is parked in front of us. So we have to decide if we're gonna go to the right or the left of it. Now, if we go to the right of that boat, it's gonna put us almost straight downwind where we could actually jibe. Now, we don't wanna jibe, not in the shallow water. So we're gonna to go to the left Okay, and we're getting in a bit shallower now. So before we run out of space, I'm just gonna take the stick, push it hard away. And because the sails are out, that means when the boat is pointing into the wind again, it's going to stop. So I'm still pushing hard away there. And now that the boat is stopped, I'm gonna jump into the water, still pushing the rudders away and I'm gonna work my way to the front of the boat, grabbing hold of the front of the boat, and there we are, we've only gone and done it. Now, to get the boat out of the water from this point can be a little bit tricky on your own, um, so it's nice if you've got some way that you can tie the boat up or someone that will give you a hand. Um, Otherwise, what we really need to do is get the rudders up. So to get the rudders up, what I'm going to do is making sure that the boat is really pointing into the wind. I'm going to very quickly go to the back of the boat, lifting that rudder, and then I'll go back to the front to gain control of the boat again. Again, making sure that we're really pointing into the wind. And then I'm gonna go across to the other side and I'm gonna repeat that process that we just did. So again, going quite quickly to the back of the boat, making sure we're staying into the wind. With the Hobies, a good way to lift the rudders is actually to lift the rudder blade from the bottom, then that's very easy. And while we're at the back of the boat, if we're happy that we can keep it into the wind I'll just unhook the main sheet as well and then quite quickly see the boat is wanting to turn away from the wind but once I've got it at the front then she's going to sit nicely into the wind so there we go we've cracked it we've had our first sail what we can do now of course is drag the boat up the beach but what we want to do while the mainsail is up, 
is we want to keep the boat pointing into the wind. So we're not just gonna put, drag the boat up the beach front first because that will be the wrong way round. Instead, what we do is drag the back of the boat onto the beach, drop the main sail, and then we could go the rest of the way. Thanks for watching. Check out this video on rigging and launching a boat like this, uh, which maybe you might have needed to see that before we get this far. But anyway, it's gonna help. I'll see you soon with some more on Joyrider TV.